Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2019 Stage Racer, episode number 92. We're on to Liege, Bastogne Liege. One of the favorite classics on the calendar. Uh, I have not been necessarily well suited to this uh, in previous attempts. I think we're a little better suited to this now. It's punchy enough, maybe, but it actually looks like we have a downhill finish this time and not one at the top of the climb. So I th I'll be iffy on whether we can pull it off today. Uh, of course, the, the distance is always a factor as I have lower stamina, lower flat rating. Uh, it's the climbing that gives me a chance. We would have to be solo or with just teammates like we were at the end of the previous stage and the Tour of the Alps. So uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, obviously, the, the climbing uh, is our advantage, and I've got a strong climbing team with me today. So I think we can definitely climb at a pace that other teams are not going to be able to match. But it looks like Bernal is placed as a favorite and I'm not and I would think that that's going to come down to the stamina so it's actually possible that I'm not even going to be the team leader today or if I am it's what we've seen a lot of this season where they're splitting the team up more than one direction if anything I'm probably going to be tasked with writing for Bernal and putting in some work Right about halfway through the race, we've got a breakaway of just five riders. I've got a plus three race day condition. Mountain, 88. Hills, 85. Still, still not much sprint, but stamina, 79, and resistance, 85. With those attributes, I could absolutely win this race for the first time. But not only has Bernal, rightfully so, been given leadership, but he's only a co-leader. But he's not co-leading with me, it's Bennert. So Bennert and Bernal are leaders, and everybody else here has been given a teammate role, including me. So we've already put in 52 kilometers of the 40. If you remember, you need that 25% over to get the maximum score. So we've earned our points for the day. We've done our work. We've played the role of teammate. I'm still debating whether I want to continue to play the role of teammate and support Bernal later on as he goes for the win or whether I just do what I can to go for the win myself later on. Uh, still a bit undecided on that currently. Previous teams didn't hardly work for me at any point. <laughs> this team does. Even if they split leadership on, on me often. This team not only supports me, but it's really, really good, strong riders that support me. And I'm not always going to be the leader. And it makes sense, even though I have a 79 stamina today, that's because of my form. And not because of what I would be on paper. I'm a 71 stamina on paper. So you wouldn't expect me to do well today as we begin the first real climb of the day sure we've been up and down up till now but we are now into that little over a third of the race where it's just continuous now i'm not going to lead a large peloton no chance but protect bernal 
on climbs, or as we get down to the last handful of riders, lead out the peloton. I might do that. I might commit to it. Still undecided. But I think there's really good justification for me to actually play the teammate role for a change, which technically I've already done. And the peloton is already shrinking. We're down. Oh, never mind. It's yo-yoing back up. Slow down a little bit here. Unless we get down to about 15 riders or so, I have no intention of working on the front again. I, I did my time. Uh, Rodriguez has already been dropped at the moment. We have 33 in the peloton. Now, this is what I was talking about. We have the strength of a team that could blow this race up long before the final climb and leave pretty much all the non-climbers behind. Leave the protection of riders behind. And uh, we've yo-yoed forward again a little bit. Let's see, big climb like this. What's going to happen if I go... Oh, wow, see? I'm not even getting to the front. There we go. You see that? You can read the pain on the faces at the back of the peloton. There's a growing number of riders left behind. All right, as we go over the top, we're down to 42. One rider left away. Jan Hurt. Sivakov has been dropped. And we're down to 43 at the front. No breakaway any longer. Plenty of climbing still. Landa's not going to last much longer. Kwiatkowski, kind of the last one to burn himself up besides me. So I think my job for the team might be coming up here pretty soon. Uh, you know, besides the job I already put in. Down to 39. Damage is starting to be done again, but we're not leaving anyone behind. I mean, you can see Landa's kind of hanging in there. All right, let's slow this down. 37k. This is steep. Oh, there goes Landa. The riders are in a portion above 10%. There's a few riders jockeying for position at the front. Attacking a little early. Oh, I've gotten separation. I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to lead the peloton. Teammate roll, teammate roll. I'm not going to try to catch those three. There's only 21 chasing now. Okay, uh, I've recovered. Though I do have uh, somewhat limited energy now after that. But I did drop, what, almost 10 riders here from the group. Another group that's uh, attacked. 
Got a little separation here. Twenty six K to go, a heavy rain. You could see there still being a crash in here somewhere. Still twenty two riders in contention. Now twenty as a couple are dropped. Uh Kwiatkowski's not gonna last long here. Seeing a big acceleration. Oh, Bernal. What's going on, Bernal? We're eight chasing the front ten. Really only one little double climb left to go. 20 kilometers still. Yikes. Okay, nine chasing nine. It's only 20 second gap. Bernal went to a standstill there on that last one. All right, it's all back together again. I'm not going to win this thing. This climb features some dreadful percentages. I wouldn't get far enough away. Again, an attack is launched. The group has to break apart. The finish line is getting close. The riders have just passed the 15 kilometers road sign. A rider has just fallen. Well, Al Philippe just rode me off his wheel. I was at a 98 and he rode me off his wheel. And continued to ride away after I expended the last of my energy. Well, there's Bennert. 11k to go, and being out of energy really hurts right now. Nick Egg. There's Bernal right behind me. There you go, he's made contact. Seven and a half K to go. Got a little energy. He's getting just a little bit of energy. I think we're still in the top 10. Alright, this is called teamwork. I'm going for it. Oh, there goes Bernal. This is for a top 10. I've got to not be last in this group. Great stuff. Teamwork really paid off and their sprinter brings home the bacon. We're waiting for the tailenders who continue to arrive. I see a rider with a flat tire. 8th place. I had a Bernal, even though I did put work in for him for the team. Bennett took 6th. Alphilippe won this thing. Man oh man, he's just too damn good. Shockman Lambrecht Hershey, I was with Alpha Leap, and that's the first time in a long time that someone just straight up rode me off their wheel on a climb at pace. Guys, got the hill rating like I have the mountain rating, though. I still had a little bit of energy when he did that. I mean, it's not like I. Expended all my energy, which 79 is still not perfect, but it was good. No team supporting me, though, so I always knew that my energy at some point was going to 
wear thin. But still, that was that was impressive by Al Philippe. I got a top ten anyway at a major classic. Long, long race. And I managed to beat the guy that I was working for. Had I still put the work in for him, sort of, in the final kilometers. We're ready to set off with the Tour de Romandie. First stage is a very short prologue. I've noticed watching my teammates that this little section in the middle, just right here, provides just a little bit of uphill. And when it's this short, it's steeper than you think. An 80 on my prologue today. I think I could go pretty dang hard, but how hard can we go? 78 seems about right. This little uphill seems to do a lot of damage in there. Ooh, I've got the number one jersey on. Come on, come on. Oh, I, was, I set off way too slow. I didn't time that right. Still quickest, but Mullen and Dennis have saved time. Are they going to screw me over? They do. They always do. Uh, every other time trial I watch, if they get same time, the guy who crossed the line last still wins. If I cross the line on same time as others, it always flips every time. Rowan Dennis, Ryan Mullen, and I take third, but I am on same time. And the two guys that are on same time with me aren't a threat. It's Demoulin, it's Lopez behind me, Paulus of Edipole are really growing. That's stage one in the books. 70k to go. It's all the way already up to stage number four of six. Stage two, punchy, but it was like this stage. The only difference between that one and this one is that one still had a flat finish. This one at least does have, you can't really see it on the, the mini map, but from here you can see this one at least has that chance to come down to a true breakaway at the top and a chance to win the stage. And then stage three was a sprint stage. I've got a wonderful plus five race day condition today. Reason for it, fitness peak, race objective. This is one of my three objectives on the year. I would have picked the Giro, which is in a week from now, but the Giro falls into the same window as the Tour de France. And with the system, Fitness Peak fist system the way it is now, you only get three. It's broken up into three. It would make much more sense to me if you could pick the three Grand Tours, if you pick three objectives, period, regardless of when they're at. So, as opposed to breaking the calendar up the way they do and not being able, you have to pick either the Giro or the tier, uh, Tour, and you can't pick both. But anyway, that put this down as my race objective. I figured the later it was, the more it would impact my, my calendar, my season. And so far, so good on that. Everything's gone kind of according to plan at this point in the season as we now have under 50 kilometers to go as we go around this beautiful castle. Actually, it looks like we rode right through the, the yard. If you haven't noticed yet, PCM 20 is now available for wishlist. Price has not been posted. Release date has not been posted. We have a split. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, Bernal has missed out. But we have a split with just 30, it's 40 kilometers though. Never mind. I'm not going to bury my team for 40k. If it was maybe 20, 25, I would. And. I don't know why Bernal is the one who's leading the chase to get back. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, hello. 
Okay, this is different. Now it's just 24. And the gap has opened up behind us a bit. Maybe we will bring this down and try to do something about this. There's an attack in the group at the front. Anyway. Like I said, no price yet. No release date yet, but it is posted on Steam. Uh, you can check out the early trailers. Uh, here comes Bernal with just a few riders. We'll let them bridge the gap. And now with 29. Uh, uh, let's see, there's a lot of fatigue in my guys, though. They don't have much to uh, demolish this just yet. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay, now we have 13. Bernal's down. This is now a different story. Dumoulin was in the crash, and it's late. They're, those guys are not coming back. Uh, it is time to do something now. All right, I've got uh, Kwiatkowski uh, to protect. You know what? Actually, here, let's let's switch this up. Kwiatkowski, you're the freshest rider. You're going to protect me. And these guys are all going to go relay. And about an 89. We'll see what kind of pace that sets. There's still breakaway riders out in front that have not been caught yet. Shockman's here. Simon Yates is here. Looks like Dennis. There's the plus. Yeah, there's Dennis. Okay, Gamper. For Mark. And Iteraldi. So there's a few competitors here, but that's it. And Bernal, who was in the crash, I mean, those guys are four minutes behind, so they're two and a half minutes back. Uh, unfortunate for them, their race is done, even if we didn't accelerate here. They're, this is not one they're coming back from. You, This late into the stage, when we're still trying to catch the breakaway, the four riders in the break, you know, what are we to do? All right. 89 seems to be working okay, uh, but 5k to the summit. Minute 9, those guys are, uh, the riders are going through a close now. Okay, now just 11 in the group. It's been announced that a rider is withdrawing. The pace was certainly too high for him. That's uh, few guys decided to attack. That's what's left of the break. There we go. Okay, we caught him. Shockman's trying to attack. And it's a swift acceleration by Maximilian Schachmann. Okay, not 99. It's a group of four chasing one rider now. Uh, Shockman at the front. Iteraldi. And there's Yates. Yates is going to be hard to shake. But we are catching Shockman easily enough. Now we can slow down a bit. Big gap behind us. It's a minute and eight to the next rider. And... This is not the place to 
I'm gonna win this thing on the final climb. So Kwiatkowski, we're gonna slow you down to about an 80 here. He's gonna have to do all the work towards the end, but this is something that Kwiatkowski is pretty dang good at. We dropped somebody, Iteraldi. So Shockman and Yates now, the only ones left. And, well, looky here. Yates is putting in work. Oh, he's trying to accelerate away. Alright. I did not want to attack on an uphill. But I will accelerate now. Two and a half K. There you go. Catch him on the downhill where he can't get away from me. He's still got a little bit of a gap. This climb is feared by many riders. The percentages are very high. And they're off. It's going to be very fast. All right. Well, it's together. Whether I win the stage or not, I think I've got the stage one, though. I'm surprised Shockman recovered. There you go. Shockman takes second. Yates takes third. Kwiatkowski's going to claim fourth. And uh, that's blown this race up. All right, so the release, PCM 20, right? I didn't expect this much excitement in this stage. I thought I was going to have plenty of time to talk about it. I'm, I'm excited to see PCM 20 coming. I am looking forward to it, absolutely no doubt about it. But I'm also a little disappointed Though it's early, maybe there's more to come, and this is just a teaser. But there's only two notable changes for the upcoming release, at least currently. Like I said, there could be more. That could just be their first teasers. But at this point, there's one update and one new feature coming to the game. The new the update is your your home screen your main screen now ha is incorporated with a more streamlined planner really it's the same planner it's just brought to that screen uh, it's more accessible this way I'm hoping that there's at least some sort of AI assistance with that to to help it out otherwise it's just the same thing hidden in a, a in a more open place than it was before, as opposed to being hidden behind a couple tabs. That really doesn't help us much. So hopefully they did something with it, and as opposed to just moving its location. What I am a bit more excited for is the new feature. But again, at this point, it's the only announced new feature, and that is morale. So they are changing how it affects pro cyclists apparently, but it's mostly career mode feature. And you have rider morale now. The contract, the amount of races they have, things like that will actually impact. I'm assuming it's going to come down to race day condition. So whether they have a good positive morale, whether they're happy within the team, within their role in the team is now going to impact race day condition and it is said to impact the signability as well. So it's kind of dual fit into uh, whether they want to re-sign or not. I was not in the race lead, that's the youth jersey, uh, but I almost certainly will be now. Shockman, Yates and I, same time, Kwiatkowski, 41 behind, and then things really open up. Dumoulin at 207 behind, Bernal, I don't know what happened to him. Did Bernal not, oh, there he is. Way down the order. He was in that same crash. 
lost a lot more time than the other guys. All right, so I have a three-second lead over Simon Gates. Shockman is nearly a minute behind. Kwiatkowski in fourth. Lopez is not far off from being two minutes behind. Uh, Paulus, one to watch out for, is at 220. And Avenipol, Demoulon at two and a half. At this point, really, Shockman, yeah, okay. But Simon Yates is the one we really need to watch out for in this race. Uh, with a couple stages to go. That's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Ooh, we got to level up. And it comes with an increase in attributes, which is scary, because I'm already scary good. Uh, we maxed out our mountain rating. Recovery plus one, flat plus one, same on climber. Time trial at least would get flat plus two and a prologue. Sprinter I don't like. You want to lose time trial. Yeah, that looks like our winner. That's It's only four points. At some point, you got to kind of look at whether we want to go evolution of potential. But this is the last season of the series. So as much as it makes sense to do that, if I was planning on playing additional years, for now, it's get whatever points you can get. And here's the points. Four points that matter, Baradour, means nothing. Uh, but the flat... The prologue, the recovery. And the skill point. And we're nearly done. One category left. Well, once again, that does it for this episode of Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one, and be safe out there. And bye for now.